Stern. Okay. Uh, Thursday, May 5th, 2015. This is the 15th day of the Chinese New Year. So now, this uh, black cocker spaniel, female, 7 years old, is adopted, was adopted online. So the owner said that uh, she was paid. But uh, one year ago, one year ago it came in with a complaint of cannot pass urine, urinary incontinence. So uh, I checked, I checked the dog and uh, that was one year ago, in uh, two years ago, in April 2013. So after treatment, according to you, the, there is no complaint from the dog. So I presume it's okay. What food do you feed after that? Uh, it's always dry food. She dry food. Be food at all. Okay. So unfortunately, there was no urine done. But now, now, now this dog comes in again the same complaint of urinary incontinence. So we will check the abdomen first. So I do the abdominal palpation. You can hear the sound. Too much gas. This is gas in the intestine. So the food either is not, not good for this dog or she eats grass and uh, rubbish from yeah. the ground. Okay. So there's no good. So this one is only gas. Huh? But I can feel that the bladder is not full. The bladder is okay. The bladder is Bladder is uh, not swollen or anything, but it's painful. Okay, bladder is painful. So now we check the the vulva. Now, normally it's not so swollen if the dog is sterilized, uh, but uh, according to the owner, there was fresh blood seen in the vagina. Vulva there. Uh, fresh well, she, blood. She will try to pee. Then only blood comes out instead of urine. Yeah, that might not be pee. That may be blood from the from the uterus. Sometimes the sterilization is not... Yeah, maybe she will squat and, uh, and do it. Uh, sterilization is not done properly. There could be blood coming out. Uh, six Monday. Is this six Monday the problem? No way. Like two months or even so. Then um, it took that, antibiotics and... Recover, yeah. Yeah. Now, we, we hold the dog for the... Hold like this. Hold like this. Two hands. So, I will check the inner sac first. Now this dog definitely have chronic inner circulitis. You can see the the all rough here, no hair. Now so I'll check the inner sac. Last uh, two years ago it was bad, but this time it's still it's still bad. So you just said no, nobody has done it for her. You see that the color? Yeah. So yeah, nobody has expressed the inner sac since two years ago. Uh, so there's one, one reason that the dog is licking the, the back area. Now we turn the dog upside down. Turn the whole back. One, two, three. Now just hold up. Unpeat, hold up, unpeat. Ready? Unpeat. Okay, one, two, three. Turn, one, two, three, down. Now, we want to check whether the dog has been sterilized or not. Or not properly sterilized. Because if it's not properly sterilized, the ovary is still there. So when the ovary is still there, but not 100%, maybe it's more small piece of ovary is still there, then uh, there will be swollen, swelling of the memory gland because uh, there's still ovaries, uh, ov ovarian hormones. You hold the head first. Eh? Forget about the phone first. Eh? You hold the head first. Now, so I will check whether there's any uh, milk or not. If there is milk, as you can see there's swelling here, so there, there is definitely milk. I did it or some some uh, edema is it? Okay, now. Do you see any milk coming out from here? No. Hmm? So we call it the the stump pymetra. It is very common in uh, in uh, Yangon. But in Singapore sometimes there is also. Now you can see this swollen. This is swollen and uh, and there's some lumps inside, so this could be tumor, uh, painful so yeah. So it could be mastitis. Now, so this could be a sign that this dog was not spit, was not spit uh, properly. properly, and then there's some ovarian uh, tissues left. So if we turn, turn back again, come. Okay, come for the head. Okay. So now, I can feel that uh, palpation wise that uh, there is no uh, obstructed. 
a blood obstruction, but uh, we need the x-ray to confirm because uh, there may be kidney stone, not only bladder, there could be urethral stone or a tumor, uh, so tumors in the bladder or kidney, so so that's why uh, the best is a uh, test, yeah, I mean x-rays and blood tests again, uh, unfortunately you cannot diagnose based on the kidney disease. But you have to know whether the dog comes on heat or not every six months. That means, do you know? The, the male dogs are interested in her. You see the male dogs coming, just smell. Not often. Smell I mean, the last time I saw, I, saw, I, saw, I think we went to the fish with the owner then. The, the dog one. went to try to cut, uh, hum, hum her. La. Male one, yeah. male dog. Yeah. But um, after, I, I really don't know after that. Where was it? So long ago. That was uh, after I, I saw her? Yeah, after I saw you saw her. Okay. Okay. So even if she's uh, sterilized, the male dog will come. Yeah, yeah. I'm not interested. Not at all, I'm not, 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 not interested. At all. Because she's not properly sterilized, then the hormones is still there. The, the female hormones are. Uh, mm -hmm. The male dog can smell it. So what should we do now? Like, should we have to cut down? Again? Some pyometra normally have to open up to go and look for the the leftover ovaries or ovary. You know? Maybe one ovary is left behind. I mean, they have to find. Uh, so, but the best thing is you observe first. It normally comes about six months. Day. That's why you must see. But there are signs that the, the breast is swollen there. So it's, it's most likely that uh, I can give you an estimate will be about uh, two months ago. Today is what? One month? March. So around December to January, you will see the dog. Then uh, June to July, you see the dog again. I mean, any interest of other male dogs. Once you see that there is, that means. Uh, that means uh, she has uh, not been properly spit. Uh. Either that or. Okay, I'll finish it.